Hi everyone, my name is Rachel and welcome to The French Seams. Thanks very much for joining me again for another video. This is a Friday Sews video, so as always a huge thank you to Jen from Today in Jen's Sewing Room for setting up this wonderful sewing hashtag. So it's been about a month since my last Friday Sews, so I have a lot to catch you up on. So um, as always, a huge thank you to everybody who's watched any of my previous videos, anybody who's um, given a thumbs up or left a comment, thank you very, very much. And a huge thank you to all my subscribers as well. So if you're new to my channel, you're very, very welcome. But if you are a regular subscriber, then welcome back. So we'll dive straight in, shall we? So uh, I'll let you know what I'm wearing today. This is the Love Notions Whistler sweatshirt. So give you a quick look here, it's got nice little buttons and it's got the most wonderful pockets in here because last week our weather in Dublin was glorious. We got a full on week of summer weather. It was fabulous. But this week all change. I think we're now firmly in autumn, maybe even creeping into winter. So yes, the winter clothes are coming back and sadly I think it's time for the summer clothes to be put away. They have not had the outings this year they deserved. They really haven't. So I'm really hoping that we get summer weather next year. So that's what I'm wearing. Um, I've got my little notebook here about everything I want to talk to you about because I've got a few bits and pieces. Um, to catch you up on life, so what have I been doing for the past month? So I think the last time I spoke to you, we were just about to go on our summer holidays. So that was really, really nice. So we had a week, um, just the four of us. The weather was hit and miss at the start and then we got a few really, really nice days at the end and my boys went swimming in the sea and we had little day trips and everything. It was just lovely. So I'll pop in a few pictures here because I was able to wear some Me Made outfits on our holiday. And of course, I was able to use my variety of Me Made bags as always. So yeah, it was really, really nice to get away and the little house we stayed in was perfect and literally the week we got back, we've now booked it for next year. So that's great to have that done, sorted, to look forward to our lovely little holiday again next August. So that's always a good sign if you come back and want to book the, the same thing straight away. So that was our little holiday. Then we came back and literally my older boy straight away started school. So he will be five in October. And he started at the uh, local primary school there um, just after we got back from holidays. So he's settling in really, really well. He seems to really enjoy it. His teacher seems to be lovely. He's got a few little buddies. He's learning all kinds of things. He comes back and tells me things that I certainly didn't teach him. He's started to learn Irish, which is adorable, as um, all the children here in Ireland do when you start primary school. Um, and he's just having a really, really good time. He's settling in really, really well. And he looks utterly adorable in his uniform. He's got a little tie and everything. He looks super cute. So we're, yeah, we're both very, very proud of him starting school. Uh, then, so that took up uh, the first week after we got back from holidays. Then the following week, uh, which I think was last week, my weeks have totally disappeared. Um, younger friend Seams was quite unwell. So he was at home with us for about a week. So both of us trying to work from home, trying to look after him. Um, he ended up having an ear infection. So he was quite poorly for the week. So yeah, that week just disappeared entirely. So then this week um, has just been full on. Mr. French Seams has been traveling, which ordinarily means that I can get a nice bit of sewing done. But work has been nuts since I got back from uh, holidays. So I've just been working all the hours. So morning, noon and night. So again, this week now has disappeared entirely as well. So yeah, so that's basically where I've been. So it's just been family and work and the usual kind of things. But I think I'm expecting a little bit of sickness for my boys uh, now that September has started, everybody's back in school. So hopefully they'll stay well. Hopefully, hopefully they're both doing really, really well now. So we'll see. We shall see. So yes, as I said, the weather has turned. Um, we were hoping to get to the zoo this weekend, but the weather is not looking zoo friendly. So we'll see how we go. But, but yeah, we're firmly in the kind of the autumn starting school, back to school. I think the boys are now kind of looking towards Halloween, that kind of vibe. So yeah, so that's basically what I've been doing for the past month. So um, yes, where shall I move on to from here? So what have I been sewing? So I haven't done a huge amount. So, but one thing I... Um, I did want to get done and I did, which is brilliant, was my entry to the hashtag the so Safari 2023 challenge, which was set up recently by the lovely Sarah over at um, Super Bale Sews. I'll link her details below. She set up this fabulous hashtag for September basically to sew up um, safari in the loosest sense of the word. So animal print fabric or an animal kind of inspired fabric or literally a full on fabric with animals on it or something along that vibe. And it can be a garment or an accessory, whatever you like. So it was actually perfect because my recent trip down to Kilkenny, I had bought the most fabulous peacock uh, border print cotton fabric from Threads of Green and I was able to make it up into a little 
bag. So this, um, if you've been watching my video before, in the library I took out the Stuart Hillard book. So he was one of the contestants, I believe, on the first series of Sewing Bee. And he makes the most wonderful bags. So this is a pattern I found in the bag and it's for a toiletry bag. So when you travel with, so it looks like this and I really worked hard because this is a border print. So it's got uh, this at the top and then this um, more peacocky down the bottom. So I worked really, really, really hard on the placement of all the fab uh, all the pattern pieces. So it ties like this and um, it's meant to be a hook and stuff, but I didn't have any. So I went old school, you can just tie it in a bow and then you open it out like this and then you meant to lay it flat. So when you lay it flat, your bag sits upright like this. You can fill that full of makeup and bits and bobs. So I just lined it with um, spotty fabric and I put in some bag foam to get it sturdy. So you can see the differences in the print here. It's beautiful fabric. And then on the inside then, is all these pockets so you've got nice little quilting detail here so it folds nicely i did all this in gold thread thank you very much so the gold thread that gives me such a headache but i love it it looks so pretty then you've got the flap here and you've got how do i hold this properly for you like this so these are all little pockets so you can put in say makeup brushes or toothbrushes and then this one then is a zip pocket i love the way we always prove that the zips work nuts uh, so this is a zip pocket and then in here and this actually is a shower curtain so thank you to all the help uh, for um when i put up that i wanted to make this bag about the vinyl so i couldn't find clear vinyl anywhere in ireland and somebody recommended shower curtains which is brilliant so my poor husband when he said i'm off to b and q to pick up a few pieces i said oh will you buy me a shower curtain please He's learned to just turn a blind eye. So the only one he could find with, was this, but I think it's perfect. So you can just about see through it. Um, and uh, so then, yeah, so that's a little vinyl uh, pocket. And then I've put in a little label, uh, which says proud as punch, with I, which I thought went with a peacock vibe. Um, it's an odd placement for that, but it's basically because I didn't catch the fabric underneath. So it hides my little mistake. So yes, love how this came out. As I say, you can see all the different uh, types of fabric on this. The peacock fabric is just beautiful. So yeah, worked hard on the, on the pattern placement on this. And I'm just very, very happy with the result. I think it's really, really nice. This pattern was lovely. Um, the only thing is that it, it gives you measurements for each pattern piece and they're hidden throughout the pattern. So it's quite tricky. So it did take a good while to get this all sewn up, but I'm really happy with the result. And now I actually, it just gives the dimensions of the pattern pieces, but I did actually trace them onto... Uh, cardboard. I think I used old um, uh, shopping bags, the cardboard car uh, shopping bags. So I now do have the templates if I want to make this again. And I think I really will. It's a really cute pattern. So this is my toiletry bag for entry for that competition or challenge, which is really great. So thank you, Sarah, again. Um, the next thing I got made up basically is I bought two pieces of new fabric, which I'll show you in a minute, but I wasn't really in the mood to thinking about a pattern, making sure I had to print it out, do all the cutting, everything. I wasn't really in the mind space to do it, but I really wanted to do some sewing. So I basically just did scrappy sewing, as I call it. So I found little patterns or patterns I had and just did little pieces for maybe like half an hour, 45 minutes each night, which I love doing. So I managed to sew up a variety of things. So one of them was this little pouch. So you might recognise this from my Adam Sews hipster pouch and it's a beautiful quilted fabric on the blueberry, which is an entry to um, That's So Fruity. So Fruity. So I had this amount of quilted fabric left over and I didn't want it to go to waste. And I saw something on Instagram, I can't remember who it was, but they basically had just a strip of fabric and they made a little pouch and I thought it was really cute. So I just had this strip of fabric. I folded it over and put a zip. So that's just a fold there. So the zip is, is about a third down. And then I boxed out the corners and it's just a really cute little pouch. So because I'm now addicted to binding, um, the inside is the green and I've now fully bound the inside as well. So I don't know what's come over me, honestly. So now it's fully bound on the inside and it looks really, really nice. So this is a little pouch. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to hold in it, but I think it's very, very cute. And it just, yeah, it was just kind of, it scratched that sewing itch during the week, let's just say. The next thing I got made up, I can't find. So I made the cutest little cable ties. I'll pop in a picture because I did take a picture of them during the week. And it's a pattern from Apple Green Cottage. It's a free pattern and it's a little cable ties to tie up um, laptop cables or iPhone cables, whatever you have. And it comes in a variety of sizes. I think it comes in four sizes. Do I have the little passion piece? I do. This is one of the passion pieces. And basically you just put on a snap and tie it around your cables and it's really cute. And I can't find them anywhere. I have no idea what I did with them. So here's a picture, really, really cute free passion. And I was able to use leftovers of the beautiful blueberries as well. So that was another thing. 
then because older friend seen started in school and uh, he's got little bits and bobs like pencils and erasers and stuff I thought it'd be cute to make him a pencil case so I found a lovely pattern on Lorelei Jane and it's for the triangle pencil case I'll link all these below as well so this is the Lego fabric that I had some left over from when I made them um the little Lego mat um, a couple of months ago and I had this lovely chunky red zip in my stash as well which I think goes really really nicely and it's a beautiful little pencil case and then the inside I lined it with um take out all his bits and bobs with um giraffe print that I got from the fabric counter a good few months ago now at this stage but I thought it was a really cute pattern he can keep all his bits and bobs in it and you know how much he loves Lego so he does like that which is great and then I was feeling left out so I wanted a pencil case too so I had this left over, um, I think this was an Aldi Fat Cortez beautiful rainbowy fabric. I think it's really, really cute. So I made myself a little pencil case and this blue zip matches perfectly. And then the inside is all spotty and I've got these little pastel buyers, which I think are cute. And I was really keen to pattern match and I don't know what I did. So it doesn't pattern match on the top because what I did was I didn't cut it um, to mirrors. I cut it to line up the pattern so I, I laid one pattern piece on top of another to line up the pattern piece. But of course that doesn't work because they're on the on the reverse. I don't know what I was thinking. You can tell it was very late at night, but I still think you wouldn't really notice this nice stripy fabric. And then I was playing around with my Cricut, obviously, and I put a little monogram. So I put this on glittery, little R and little leaves, which I think is very, very cute. So this is my little pencil case. And then the final thing I got done was another Stuart Hillard pattern. Um, and it is, I can't remember what he called it because I had to hand back the library book. Uh, is it a roll up toiletry or essential toiletry or something like that anyway. So basically it's one of these ones that you can hang up. So this, you can see my spotty fabric again. And this is my ice cream fabric, which I made my lovely Q dress out of, out of which I'll be sharing on Instagram shortly. And then the binding is another Aldi fat quarter. It's actually Peter Rabbit, uh, but you can't see the Peter Rabbit's on it, but I just thought it was cute in the candy candy stripes. So this is, it hangs in the bathroom. I put a little hook and a little um, tie. One other recommendation that you lovely people gave me was if you're making these to put a little, one of those little um, sucker things on it for when you don't have a hook, which is genius. So I need to source one of those. So this is another of his bags. So his one has zips um, across each, but I didn't have three zips to hand. So I literally just did binding on the vinyl. This isn't vinyl. This is a cut up Ikea storage bag. Um, but it gives the kind of same impression. So I bound the tops and then just bound the bottoms, binding again. And I think it worked out really well. So you've got three little pockets and then you can flap it up or roll it depending on what you have inside. And then once you flap it all up, you can tie this around and or you can tie this like this. And then you've got this to travel with. So you can tell I'm on a total bag making scrap busting kind of little sewing project kick. But I think this is very, very cute. This took no time to sew up at all. And I did for the, what did I do? Oh yes, for these, I used my bias binding maker to make the fold. And for these, I didn't, I just eyeballed it. Shouldn't have done that. But I think this would be very quick if you just use your bias binding maker um, to make those. So everything is the same width and then just top stitch them down. And it's really cute. So you got the top stitching in the back so it folds nicely. So I was thinking with hashtag a gift to November looming that this these would make really cool Christmas presents. They don't take long to do. Scrap busting, once you have all the pattern pieces cut out, it won't take long. It's kind of wadding in the middle, which I need to replenish my stash of, but that shouldn't be too hard. And then you could fill it with all nice uh, little bits as a Christmas present. I think it'd be very, very cute. So watch this space. So, and I don't particularly think you need the zips in it. It's just an extra bit of notions, isn't it? So you can just store them away like this and I think it'd be a very cute present. So this was the last thing I got done. So quite a bit with not much fabric and not much time and free patterns. So win, win, win. So that was everything I've been sewing up. Um, so what will I be sewing this week? So as you can see my fabric here for my seersucker, I did not get my Helen's Closet. No, not Helen's Closet. Heather blazer done during the summer because it was not a uh, blazer weather. So that's going to sit in my stash. We'll see for another few weeks. We'll see how we go. But what I would like to get sewn up this week is my lovely new fabric. So I'll show you. So um, finishing off our summer holidays, we passed the fabric outlet down in Cork. And uh, I said to my husband, I was like, I'll be 10 minutes. He believed me. Poor thing. I was about 20 minutes. So I did buy two pieces in there. And the fabric outlet is great. Um, Agatha introduced me to it down in Newbridge. All the fabric is a five or a meter, which is fabulous. And for these, I actually got the end of the bolt and they gave me the end of the bolt for half price. So I got, I think 
in total, I think I got about five meters for maybe 25 euro, which is pretty good going. So the first one, oh yes, and they've recently started doing dressmaking fabric. Ordinarily, they just do uh, home furnishing fabrics. So the first one, you could tell I was still on a holiday vibe, was this, and it's a, I think it's a viscose, you, you can't really tell, um, and it's in this beautiful nautically type print. It looks a bit kind of designer, I think. So quite big prints, so you've got anchors, you've got ropes, you've got flags, flip upside down. Um, I'm sure somebody nautical could tell me what they mean. Um, and I just think this is lovely. So I'm gonna have a think about what to do with this one. Beautiful drape to it. And yeah, I think I've got about two and a half or three meters of this. I think it's really pretty. I think um, a nice dress would show off that print. And I think because you got the black here, I think you could get away with this during the autumn winter as well. So then the other piece then I found was this fabulous, I think it's a kind of cotton jersey, no, um, a viscosey jersey type thing because it's got lovely drape. But it's it's kind of a border print across the selvage. So it goes from, I can show you the right way, it goes from kind of dark blue on this side into white in the middle and then dark blue on the other side. It's quite drapey. I think it's quite see-through which I didn't notice, I think. So initially I was thinking Kilo wrap dress, but I'm wondering whether that'd be too figure hugging, too clingy, too see-through. But I think that with the wrap, I think that that would look really, really nice. Another thing I was thinking was just nice pyjamas. I think a nice a kind of boxy tee and a nice, maybe the Tilly and the Buttons Juno pyjama bottoms could be quite nice as well. So I'll have a think about that one. If you do have any ideas on the two of these, please let me know. But I just thought this was really, really nice. It's got great stretch to it. And yeah, I was just very happy with those. I also managed to get a load of thread, overlocker thread, um, big spools of thread as well. So excellent trip there. And I came out and yes, just hid those in the boot away from hubby. So that's what I'd like to get started on. Um, I have also been um, thinking about new fabric as well. And recently Ecobe put out on Facebook that they're going to be selling, um, it's almost like teddy fabric. So I'll pop in a picture here. So I put my name in the hat for the old green color, which I love. So I'm kind of having thoughts about what to do with that. So I'll pop in a few pictures of what I had in mind. One is I think an atelier scamish pattern, a kind of a vest. And then I've also been thinking, oh, and there's another, um, it's a Tsushi pattern, but I can't find the name of it for a minute. So hopefully I'll pop it in here. Hopefully inspiration will strike later. And then the other thing I've been thinking of is a kind of a, a gilet, a kind of vest kind of thing. Not necessarily in that teddy fabric, but maybe something quilted um, with binding. Who am I? Um, and for that, I would love to try the Helen's Closet Wildwood Gilet. Pop in a picture here as well. She does the most fabulous patterns and that's very, very versatile. So I was kind of thinking now towards kind of autumn, winter, those kind of more coaty things and stuff. So that's what I've been thinking about for now. Apologies, I had to cough. I think I'm getting my husband's cold, but it is the season. Anyway, I think I'll wrap it up um, there. Um, thank you very, very much for joining me today. Um, also, especially because of my sporadic video. So um, if you haven't clicked the bell icon to be notified of, of my videos, please do, because that'll tell you when a new video comes out, because I certainly can tell you when a new video is coming, going to come out. So I'll leave it there for now. Please let me know what you've been working on. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing. Also, uh, let me know in the comments uh, what you think I should make out of those two lovely fabrics and also the teddy fabric. I hope you're all well and thank you as always for joining me. Um, I am working on my end of summer makes video. So I think I have about 10 or 12 things that I'd like to talk to you about and that'll wrap up all my summer makes. And then I'll get working on my autumn plans, which is always exciting because I do love the autumn. So as always, thank you very, very much for joining me. I do love making these videos and I'm very, very happy that you guys join in the fun on Friday shows as well. So thank you very, very much. I hope you're all well and I hope to see you all again very, very soon. Take care, everyone. Bye.